A new House of the Dragon teaser just dropped, so spoilers ahead, let's get right into it. Nope, this isn't Daenerys Targaryen, a black-robed, white-haired woman overlooking the shores of what appears to be Dragonstone, the same place Daenerys will take control of 200 years later. This is Rhaenyra Targaryen, the only child of Viserys I who currently sits on the Iron Throne as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. As we'll see throughout the trailer, we'll have both young and older versions of herself, so this story will last several years. Here we have an establishing shot on the tumultuous shores of Dragonstone, which you can make out in the background. The voiceover makes reference to legacy, which seems to be one of the major themes of House of the Dragon, and it makes sense considering many of the bloodlines we'll see in this trailer will continue on in A Song of Fire and Ice. You'll recognize this place as the steps leading up to Dragonstone, where we have Prince Daemon Targaryen holding a dragon egg. To his left is Myseria, a confidant and unofficial mistress to the prince, and it looks like a trade is happening here, the dragon egg in exchange for Daemon and Myseria's baby. This scene sets up the ongoing feud between Prince Daemon and current Hand of the King, Sir Otto Hightower. Prince Daemon believes he's the rightful heir to the throne should his older brother, King Viserys, not produce a male heir, but Sir Otto Hightower believes that if this does not happen, the role should fall to Viserys' daughter, Rhaenyra. So already we have a lot of jostling for power when it comes to who controls the throne. To Otto's left appears to be Knight of the Kingsguard, Creston Cole. He becomes a far more pivotal character later on in the series. And check out a totally not burned to the ground King's Landing. You can even make out the Great Sept of Baelor over to the left. It's tough to make out, but this looks like it could be Prince Daemon riding the dragon known as Caraxes. But if it's Rhaenyra, then it's her and her dragon Cyrax. Well, it's just like we're home again in the Great Hall of King's Landing, where King Viserys sits on his throne with several ancestors of known houses pledging their allegiance. Among them, the Starks, who we actually don't get to see, Corlys, of House Valerian and Bormund of House Baratheon. King Viserys stands watch holding one of two ancestral Targaryen blades. I think this is Blackfire, but it could be its companion blade, the Dark Sister. Another big difference you'll notice here are the amount of blades surrounding the throne. From my research, it appears this was done to make the throne more in line with the books, but it also serves to show just how powerful and intimidating the current ruler is compared to, say, a Robert Baratheon or those who came after after him. Here we get a look at young Rhaenyra Targaryen, where it is confirmed she has been named heir to the throne, which when you realize this next shot is of Daemon looking pretty pissed, you can see how this season will be a power struggle between these two camps, at least for a bit. And Daemon wastes no time taking out his anger on the citizens of King's Landing. This might take place in Flea Bottom, and not sure if this season will cover it, but Daemon will become commander of the City Watch, so this may also depict that. This is Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. She tells Rhaenyra that some men would rather see the city burn than have a woman rule. Kinda ironic since a woman ruler will end up literally burning the city. Back at Dragonstone, Rhaenyra overlooks the painted table of Westeros just like Daenerys will 200 years later. Notice the blade here. I wonder if it's the same one her father was holding in the throne room. That might even be Rhaenys in the background, clad in armor. It appears as though some war meeting was held, as you can see various markers on the map. Now this looks like it could be the ruined halls of Harrenhal, where the Lords of the Seven Kingdoms vote on who will succeed the throne after the sudden death of Balon Targaryen. We've actually seen these ruins in Season 2 of Game of Thrones. This event actually takes place before Viserys ends up as king, and if we were to go on birth order alone, Rhaenys should have taken taken over as queen. This is why she's also known as the queen who never was, since she's passed over on account of her being a woman. So therefore, Viserys ends up as king. Here we have Alicent Hightower, daughter to the Hand of the King, arriving at a large feast and kissing Viserys on the cheek. She will later become second wife to the king. A dragon egg over hot coals, keeping it warm before hatching. Likely the same egg Damon was holding earlier in the trailer. Back to Sir Otto Hightower, here we can see him clearly wearing that Hand of the King pin. He tells his daughter that they both play an ugly game, alluding to the Game of Thrones, and that they can actually win it, so it looks like he's pimping his daughter to get her with the king. Joining the party is Corlys Valerian, who I should mention is married to Rhaenys. 
And here is Damon off to the side of the end table, smugly watching the night's festivities. He might even be watching Rhaenyra dancing with a Valerian. We don't see his face, but this might be Corlys's son, Lenor, who becomes Rhaenyra's first husband. And this might even be their wedding. This is a marriage of convenience, which would unite the Targaryen and Valerian houses, but we'll learn that Lenor is more into sexy young squires than he is with women. I just hope the people celebrating here aren't celebrating a wedding because we know how those turn out in Game of Thrones. But guess who becomes Rhaenyra's second husband? It's Daemon. So it looks like this teaser is setting up all of this stuff. Taking a darker turn, we have a funeral where a stone casket is dropped into the sea. Notice the House Valerian sigils off to the side. To me, this appears to be a woman's casket. In the wide shot here, you can see what might be Corlys Valerian pushing the casket into the ocean, so it's likely someone from his family, maybe his daughter, Lena. This shot of older Rhaenyra seems to take place at this funeral as she's wearing the same red dress found in the wide shot. This one of Alicent and Creston Cole may also be from this scene, but we can't be 100% sure. Now this shot has been causing quite a stir as debates have sprung up if this is either Aegon II or Daemon Targaryen. I happen to think this is Daemon where he's brought to the king where he'll later be exiled for having sex with Rhaenyra, but let me know in the comments what you think. Creston Cole here going absolute ham on some poor soul and check out this blood pact, followed by a shot of Daemon and Rhaenyra. Looks like this is them getting married. Here we have Otto Hightower once again at Dragonstone with Daemon holding the egg preparing for battle. This is followed by Alicent attempting to murder Rhaenyra with the Cat's Paw Dagger. Now the Cat's Paw Dagger has a huge history in the world of Westeros, being passed down from various famous characters. You might remember it as being the dagger that almost killed Bran Stark in Season 1 of Game of Thrones. If I were to hazard a guess, this is Alicent trying to exact some sort of revenge on Rhaenyra. Our final shot is of Daemon uncovering a dragon, and I don't think we nor Daemon really knows which dragon this is. He looks pretty Pretty shocked for someone who's supposed to be able to control them. Maybe this is the dragon that hatched from that egg years later. But I want to know what you think, not only about the egg, but the entire season. I'm planning to cover the whole series once it comes out, so make sure you like and subscribe so you'll be notified as soon as one of my videos drops. Thanks for watching. For more bad takes, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ThinkStoryYT. Until next time, remember... Nobody thought of that. He's bringing all the dead people back to life, and they put the women and children in a crypt with all the dead people. So, rah.